All right, so I had someone ask about, um, does it affect the dry signal at all? Does this thing, like the way the Infinite Jets, it does kind of mess with your, your dry signal. So um, this is a Saturn looper, and the microcosm is in it. So this is a, the same, it's just a Dillion, uh, I think they call it a DJM 51 or 59 or 61 or something like that. It's basically like a, it's actually like a Jaguar shape, but with a strap bridge and P, two P90s. Anyway, so that's dry sound. Amp is a, a Vox AC15 Twin 12. So, um, now obviously it's affected there because we have our effect on. I'll turn down the mix. Maybe a little bit there. Again, we're bypass. We'll turn it back on. And obviously, when you start blending in the signal, everything changes. So. And the way around that obviously would be maybe do this 100% wet, which, which you can do, like. Effect 100% wet and then run through your own mixer rather than rely on the microcosms. So I'm gonna back that down and then I will. That's with it on. So in my to my ear, it may have affected a little bit, but not nearly as badly as the Infinite Jets did. Um, this is a it's a distortion micro. Um, let me try do this one. This is also a distortion micro, but not set on the fuzz setting. This is set on the lower gain. with it on obviously with no mix and now we'll go dry so yeah it's minimal at least with it dry um, and I know the other the infinite jets definitely affected it regardless but This one thing I haven't tried, which is actually reversing the effect. That's kind of cool. So yeah, minimal effect. I would say kind of minimal. Granted, I'm not I'm not playing very loud, so it may be more apparent at a louder volume. But there you go.